A drug lord is after you, you're wanted for murder, and your girlfriend thinks you're cheating. Now you're out of options. You just want to help people and enjoy life. Let's see if Chan can clear his good name and catch a devious drug lord in this condensed version of Police Story. The film begins as the drug lord Chu Tao conducts a transaction for his illicit products. Unbeknownst to him, undercover cops catch wind of their location prompting Chu Tao and his crew to flee. A missed gunfire exchanged with the undercover cop. They attempt to extract their leader to safety. The peaceful town erupts in chaos as gunfire echoes, sending civilians scrambling for safety. In the ensuing shootout, casualties mount on both sides as the cops and criminals exchange fire. Chan, one of the undercover officers, a rendezvous with fellow operatives to strengthen their mission. Tensions rise as one of the comrades is wounded, while another struggles to cope with the intense firefight. Drawing upon his resolve, Chan presses forward to apprehend the criminals. Despite their attempt to escape in their vehicles, the cops have already sealed off both exits. Desperate, the criminals crash through houses and anything in their path. Chan, determined not to lose them, hops into a vehicle and gives chase. As they escape down the mountain, they encounter a double-decker bus. Chan refuses to relent and latches onto the back of the bus, aided by an umbrella. The henchman inside the bus notices him and attempt to dislodge him. With a a swift blow from a briefcase, Chan is knocked off but persists on foot in his pursuit. Descending the hill, Chan positions himself in front of the bus, brandishing his revolver to halt the criminal's advance. A shot fired into the air compels a bus driver to break suddenly, causing some henchmen to tumble out the windows. Seizing the opportunity, Chan storms into the bus, faced with no other escape route. Chu Chao resorts to offering millions of dollars in exchange for his freedom. Unyielding, Chan rejects the bribe and proceeds to apprehend him, disregarding the lure of money. Several days later, Chief Inspector Raymond Lee and Inspector Wong wait at the police station for Selena Fong, who is Chu Tao's secretary. She has been released on bail under the condition of being placed under Chan's protection. Selena is crucial as a witness to ensure Chu Tao's conviction. The officers dismiss her lawyer from the meeting. She consents to listen to their proposition. However, once the lawyer departs, they remain silent. It becomes evident that the entire scenario was a ploy designed to sow discord between Selena and Chu Chu Tao's lawyer. The following evening, Selena and Chan arrive at her residence for the night. Expressing concern for her safety, Chan suggests he inspects the room first. But Selena, dismissive, refuses him entry. Inside, the phone rings, revealing that the room is bugged by the police, listening in on her conversation. While preparing for a bath, a mass intruder wielding a knife is seen peering through her window. After shutting the window, she checks her closet, finding the masked figure inside. Unfazed, she assumes it's just Chan playing a prank. Emerging from the closet, the intruder launches a frenzied assault, intent on eliminating Selena. She manages to break free by kicking him away and hastily descends the stairs. However, the mass assailant corners her, seemingly game over for Selena. Just as all hope seems lost, Chen discreetly peers out from a nearby door, and the intruder signals him to join? Now revealing the terrifying ordeal was orchestrated, leaving her shaken by the deception. Chen swiftly intervenes, leaping onto the intruder and engaging in a fierce struggle. Chen instructs the imposter to depart, deeming the scare to be sufficient. Yet unexpectedly, Selena strikes the intruder on the head, rendering him unconscious. She then gazes at the figure, asserting her unfamiliarity with him. Chan responds, emphasizing that Selena couldn't possibly recognize the assailant since he was hired as a stranger to harm her. The entire charade was orchestrated to compel Selena to collaborate with Chan, a tactic that proves effective as she begins to comply. Nevertheless, it remains unsettling how Selena was manipulated in such a calculated manner. As Chan exits Selena's residence with his intention diverted, he inadvertently collides with what appears to be someone's stroller. Reacting swiftly, he rushes out, only to discover that it was merely a toy doll. Suddenly, a stranger pushing the stroller assaults him. Before Chan can fully comprehend the situation, another vehicle arrives. Its occupants join the fray, attacking Chan. It becomes evident that the true assassins hired by Chu Tao have emerged. Despite being outnumbered, Chan evades their incoming strikes and swiftly counters, sending one of them soaring with a well-executed dropkick. As another attacker targets Selena, Chan vaults over to the car to intercept, tackling the assailant and sending him flying through the air. During the madness, Chan continues to fend off the assailant 
silence. Directed Selena to retrieve his gun, trembling with fear. Selena retrieves the firearm, her hands shaking as she holds it. In a moment of panic, she accidentally discharges a shot, causing everyone to scramble for cover. The assailants impede in their attempt to eliminate Selena. They hastily retreat from the scene. The following morning, Chan is abruptly awakened by the inspectors urging him to bring the witness to the court meeting promptly for fear that they would be late. Rushing to Selena's room, he discovers she's vanished without a trace. Panic. Chan rushes to the court, informing his superiors of Selena's disappearance. With Selena missing, it falls upon Chan to testify in court. However, Chu Chao's lawyer skillfully twists the narrative, portraying the drug lord as a businessman innocently en route to a deal when confronted by an armed policeman. According to the lawyer's version, the businessman, mistaking Chan for a robber, offered him the money in a gesture of compliance. Chu Chao wears a confident smile, convinced of his impeding victory in the case. However, Jack interjects, revealing that they still have a crucial tape recording to present, which contains testimony from the witness. To everyone's surprise, the tape begins playing what sounds like Chan and Selena engaging in inappropriate adult activities. But it turns out to be Selena accidentally sitting on a cactus and spilling orange juice. Unknown to Chan, Selena had tampered with the tape. The unexpected turn has even the judge laughing. Unfortunately for Chan's team, this development proves detrimental to their case. Ultimately, with insufficient evidence to convict him, the judge sets Chu Tao free. Several days later, Chan receives an urgent call from his informant, who has been diligently investigating Selena's whereabouts. The informant discloses Selena's hiding place and emphasizes the urgency of Chan's arrival, warning that the adversaries are closing in with the intent to eliminate her. Upon arrival at the location, Chan swiftly ascends the side of the building to pinpoint Selena's whereabouts inside. Selena is bound to a chair with one of Chu Tao's henchmen standing guard. Descending stealthily, Chan incapacitates the henchman with a swift blow, freeing Selena from her restraints. As they move to the exit room, Chan is suddenly blindsided by a leaping kick, revealing that it was a trap. More henchmen emerge, prompting a fierce altercation. Chan dispatches one henchman out the window and throws another into an ironing board. Despite his efforts, Chan is eventually overwhelmed by the increasing numbers of assailants. However, just as it seems dire, an officer arrives and Chan stands by his side, prepared to apprehend the perpetrators. Unexpectedly, the crooked cop turns the tables, aiming his gun at Chan. Shocked by this betrayal, Chan is forced to quickly toss his gun to one of the henchmen, who then aims it back at the corrupted officer. It's another twist, the henchmen have betrayed the betrayer. They open fire on the crooked cop with Chan's revolver, intending to frame him for the execution. With Within the chaos, Chan seizes the opportunity to grab Selena and make a dash for the roof. With no other means of escape, he hurls Selena into the swimming pool below. However, before he can follow suit, Chan is blindsided and knocked unconscious by a henchman wielding nothing but a deadly paper towel. Regaining consciousness outside of the city limits, Chan hastily makes his way to the nearest phone to seek assistance. May arrives to pick him up, but their relief is short-lived as they discover that in the newspaper, it already has implicated that Chan is the prime suspect of the murder, and the police is out there actively searching for him. Hurrying back to the police station, Chan's sudden appearance shocks everyone. He passionately denies his involvement in the crime, and to his relief, his superior Wong believes that he's innocent. However, Inspector Wong emphasizes that the focus should be on proving Chan's innocence rather than simply asserting it. Chan admits to having no recollection of the events following the shooting. Determined to assist him, Inspector Wong pledges his support in resolving the case. As the homicide team arrives to take Chan into custody, Chief Inspector Lee orders him to be charged with murder. The accusation then triggers Chan's frustration, prompting him to resist arrest. Reclaiming his gun, Chan confronts him angrily, asserting that he's been framed for the murder. He expresses his frustration, feeling that while he's out there risking his life, Chief Lee receives all the credit, with others making arrests instead of him. He's been passed over for promotion while Chief Lee benefits at their expense. Has he ever considered their lives? He shouts, screaming that they're also human as well. Seizing Chief Lee as a shield, Chan bolts from the police station. Commanding a nearby car, he compels Chief Lee to drive while holding him hostage. After a short distance, Chan orders Chief Lee to exit the vehicle, declaring his intent to track down the mob boss and bring him to justice for his crimes. 
Meanwhile, in a shopping mall, Selena stealthily infiltrates Chu Tao's office and retrieves incriminating data on him. As she exits, she unexpectedly crosses paths with Chu Tao himself and quickly flees. His henchman gives chase while Chan arrives in time to witness the unfolding commotion. Selena rushes down the escalator with Chan leaping into action by engaging one of the henchmen. Selena realizes that Chan is there to assist her. Chan successfully fends off some of the henchmen, providing Selena with an opportunity to escape. He catches up to Selena and continues to battle the pursuing henchmen, even delivering a decisive kick to one between the escalators. Nonetheless, outnumbered and cornered, the henchmen overpower Chan and hurl him off the second story. Taking Selena along, they rendezvous with Chu Tao. Meanwhile, Chan recovers and swiftly returns to the battle as more of Chu Tao's henchmen join the skirmish, brandishing steel pipes this time, with the odds stacked against them even further. Though, he precisely evades their strikes and retaliates, sending one henchman airborne into a shoe display. Despite Chan's efforts to prevent them from leaving with Selena and the briefcase, he is overpowered and his head is slammed into the wall. With even more henchmen arriving, they mercilessly beat Chan. Summoning his resolve, Chan fights back with a barrage of jumping kicks, but a surprise blow from behind knocks him down. Just as it seems dire, Selena intervenes, saving Chan from certain elimination with a decisive bat attack. Within the turmoil, a henchman seizes the briefcase and makes a dash for the exit to escape. Chan, determined not to let them get away, catches up and a henchman with no other option hurls the briefcase to the bottom floor of the mall. Chu Tao notices this and rushes downstairs to retrieve it. As Chan confronts and eliminates the remaining henchman, Chu Tao manages to grab the briefcase and attempts to flee. With limited op, Chan leaps into a nearby pole and slides down, causing Christmas lights to cascade to the ground. He lands on top of the shed and seizes Chu Tao before he can make his getaway. As the film ends, Chief Lee and Inspector Wong arrive on the scene to witness Chan holding Chu Tao hostage. Selena steps forward and reveals that the henchmen were responsible for killing the cop and the crucial evidence against Chu Tao is contained within the briefcase.